This bus behind me is dead, not because it was shot at, but because it has a bad alternator. Let's get it fixed. The big problem though is the factory alternator for this bus is $1,929 and that's not gonna fly, but we have an answer. The answer is the interchange. This is $450 because it crosses to that one. It's the same thing. Just do the cheaper one. First, we want to disconnect the batteries so you don't become part of the circuit. That's generally bad. These batteries are always a pain. They're never where you want them to be. There's never enough cable, yet we persist. I'm just going to do the negatives. I don't have to fight that hard. There's so much juice in these batteries that if you bump a tool into the wrong post, it makes a hell of a show. You don't want that. Even worse if you become part of the circuit. We don't like that either. What's good? Ducking bullets. How you doing, man? I'm all right. Man. Yeah, we're catching strays. It's all good, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Love the you... fucking series. Thank you. That's Paul. Paul's a big moped guy. He's a local dude. Let's go do this alternator. That there is the $1,929 alternator. This beauty is a $450 one. Do you see a difference? Because I don't. I, I see $1,500. bucks. i am saving. Oh, it's hot up here. People always ask me why I don't move somewhere with all this chaos going on, but I love this town. I'll just always be here. Little interactions like that. I mean, that's why I love it here. Positive is off. Gotta tick negative off. It should be done before the pizza gets here. Famous last words. Negative is off. Anything else connecting it? Nope. There's not a lot of smarts in this alternator and I love it. Looks like we can actually put a second alternator on if we wanted to. Thrilling alternator talk. Only been on there since 2009 probably. All right, the question is what socket does the tensioner want? It wants that one. That's called a mistake. I was actually removing the tensioner when I was trying to remove the belt. So I'm gonna get the right tool. This will do nicely. Yes, it will, because it has to. Belt, don't you come off for anything, all right? You just stay right there. I'm not gonna get under there and fish you out. Removing the bolts for the alternator here. Let's see how heavy this guy is. There is my original alternator that's probably served since 2009. This new alternator going in actually provides more amperage for some reason. It's just a better alternator, I guess. Oh, I gotta change the pulley out. Ah, I didn't think of that. The plot thickens. Huh. That's gonna be fun. I'm gonna bring this to the bench. This is why I've been avoiding this job. I forgot about this part. Too big, too big. It's been a long day. My eyeballs aren't properly calibrated. There we go. Step one done. Step two. Go bring this thing to the vice. Oh, I love buses. Aren't buses just the best? Well, I could be working on literally anything else. Here we go. I'm in the middle of reorganizing my larger box end wrenches, so I don't quite know. That's close. That's way off. No? Perfect. Now, how do I do this? Which way does it want to turn? Looks like it's, is it reverse thread? No. There's no way it's gonna come off like this. I'm just gonna get fun. I'm actually stuck right now. I think it wants to turn this way. And then I'll learn it goes the other way. Probably gonna need a little heat for this. Where the torch? Man, I picked the wrong day 